going on, YouTube? <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I played that stuff this morning and uh, recharged my batteries. <laughs> uh, it told, it made me tell myself, look, man, if somebody's going to sit down and write a song for, just for you and, and waste time and do all that, and the song even say, in there in the song it even says, don't don't give up and keep on doing what you're doing, man. And so uh, I really needed that, you know. Uh, he didn't waste that much time writing a song for me. I don't need to quit. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. So it's raining, and uh, Mom's car is coming together. Uh, I want to discuss... I want to know everybody else's opinion. Maybe I can find it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. My son's uh, reorganizing everything in the shop to where he knows where everything's at. He's tired of uh, playing the... Let's go hunt for a tool for 30 minutes and then do something for two seconds, you know. Yeah, there it is. I already had it down here. Anyway. It's a, it's a hose clamp tool. It's for the new style hose clamps. Now, some people it was, uh, don't think that's a new style, but to me it is. I like the, the old school kind where you take a, a nut driver or a flathead screwdriver and tie the damn thing down. But it just seems to me... It's a more painted than the ass. Because sometimes you gotta put the hose, you gotta put the clamp end of it on there like this. You gotta hold that on there while somebody else is squeezing the pliers. Or sometimes it just ain't in there, right? Or sometimes you gotta take it's just a lot of area. It ain't a it ain't a direct area where you stick a nut driver on there and tighten it up. You gotta have a lot of more room putting one of these things on there. I think technology went backwards on this one. And we even bought this off of the uh coral uh off of one of the, it's not the snap-on tool guy, but you know, one of those trucks that comes up and charges the hell out of you for tools, you know? I think it's Cornwell. Yeah, it's a Cornwell truck. And, you know, and it was it was it was decent price, you know. Uh, I didn't have to pay gas to go get it, didn't have to leave my shop, nothing. They just pull up in here, buy the tool, you know. Uh, most of the time we'll write stuff down and go to Harbor Freight on some things. But it but again, uh I don't think that's handy at all. I, I think we backed up. Uh, far left, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't keep the political crap out of my mouth if, it, if my life depended on it. <laughs> but the shit that's going on here lately is just, oh my God, you know, I, I really have to pray for our country. <laughs> hope and pray, you know, hope and pray. But anyway, um, I got to get busy and get cracking. I just wanted to share that with y'all and do a quick video instead of doing nothing and uh, start trying to cut the camera on more. We got all our body lines matched up and we got the radiator hooked up. My fans aren't coming on. I don't know why. I got to find out why. And uh, sooner or later, I'm going to have to seal around this shop. I got daylight all the way around the bottom of the shop and I gotta seal it with a, like a piece of angle uh, sheet metal and then put some tar around all, all around the border of this shop because it gets to raining too much or too hard and it starts running a river through the middle of my shop and then, then, I, then I'm soaking wet, you know? Uh, so that, that's, that's something I gotta address because we're fixing to have to shut her down and, and go home because it's fixing to, fixing to uh, start needing a life jacket in here. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all next till next time. Lipster out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. He's getting good at that welding. I can't, I, I just can't see. I gotta have eyeglasses to see as it is and uh, I'm good at soldering copper, I'll tell you that. I was a, I was the copper welding king. I had to, sometimes doing heat and air, I had to run, uh, especially them climate controlled storage buildings. You know what I'm saying? Those ones that, uh, those were the ones that you, you had to run about 1,800, maybe uh, two or 3,000 feet of copper, and, and you couldn't have no leaks, none, not even one, because if you get one leak in there, you gotta waste your time trying to find one leak in a long run.
you know, a long run, you know. This copper would start out this big sometimes and then go down to this big, you know. Depends on how far you had to run your copper. Well, they always depended on me for my for my my mad mean skills of welding some copper, but that's just uh selling oxygen and, and uh that's what I was good at. This electric stuff, uh my son kind of likes it. Uh I'd like to sometime teach him how to weld copper uh, joints together, but uh Oh, also, I wanted to uh, share with everybody out there, uh, you know, like, well, I don't want to go in there because he's busy on the welder, but, you know, like the, the fender well, you know, the the, the frame on the, on a, over there, uh, we did one other one, and we cut it straight off, you know, the frame, we, let me set the camera down a little bit, we, uh, I'll use my fingers, instead of cutting it flat in the middle, like, and made a, a cut like this to where you, you join the metal together just like, like butt it in like instead of doing the metal like this you know we 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 would make fingers with the frame and and join the fingers together and then weld it and uh i wanted to know if that was a i just we're teaching ourselves over here a lot you know uh, uh some of it's uh youtube we get on youtube and figure stuff out and other times it's just it makes common sense to me instead of cutting a straight line down your frame of your car uh, kind of work it through the corners and everything and and finger join it together that way your 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 weld is more Supporting you don't have to if that one weld breaks you don't it, the damn front end don't fall off in other words uh, you, you got a zigzag pattern going on uh, with your corners and stuff uh, His welds are getting better um, He's getting he, He's getting to where uh, I, I don't know if he's he's secure enough with his confidence in himself to show his welds on YouTube because you know when you first learn how to weld your beads aren't perfect and pretty like everybody else's is he's learning so but by far uh, it'll stay together <laughs> I can tell you that uh, um, I'm waiting for him to make some beautiful beads so I can show his welding you know to where he ain't embarrassed uh, maybe I need to sit down and have a talk with him and, 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 and you know and explain to him like I had to just get over the fact that you know uh you don't need to be embarrassed. You're learning, man. I mean, who cares what somebody says? Who care? Who cares if 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 somebody gets on there and say, "Oh, that slide looks like shit." Uh, well, hell, man. Uh, whoever learned how to walk, man, when they first was a little baby, they fell on their ass many a times, man. And uh, that's just life. <laughs> and those that are making fun of it are just assholes, you know. Uh, that's what I've been thinking a lot about here lately. Um, tell you what, uh, here's a quick here's a quick view of this. It's a good thing, classic ride society. I had to move this car out of the way. Yeah, we've had it for quite a while, but check this out. <laughs> that tree, the tree, it it fell. Uh, it started sink, you know, it, the, the lightning struck it, the wind blew down or whatever, and it leaned up against that building over there. And then it's been slowly like inching its way down. And uh, we, my son noticed it, and we, we got the uh, Classic Ride Society's car out of the way. Uh, he still needs to give me a hood. And if he's watching this video, class, when are you going to bring me the hood, man, so I can finish your car? <laughs> he's... He's got a lot of stuff going on in his shop, and he needs to, uh, you know, because it kills him to go to a junkyard, and he finds a good deal. He gets, he has a hard time turning it down if it's such a good deal. He can't let it go. He's like me. I hate, I hate to let go of a good deal too. But uh, anyway, uh, well, let's let's, let's see, see here. Uh, this is what we've been working on also. But we took the old bed off, and we're going to put a new bed on it. This bed is totally uh, snafu'd. It's, it's, it's screwed up. What's going on, Cooley? Is your wife ready for me to go over there and do the vent hood? Right now, let's get it All right, let's get it. Please, I'll give you a million dollars. <laughs> a million dollars? You don't got to do that. I'm sure it's just something. Uh, we'll, we'll get you taken care of. But anyway, I'll catch y'all later till YouTube. Until next time, uh, Limpster out.